Hello everyone, welcome back. In my up and coming series on our DIY Arduino PLC, I will be creating cool practical projects using the Arduino PLC. To help demonstrate most of these projects, I will need a simple conveyor belt. In this video, I will share with you how I built this mini DIY conveyor belt right from scratch. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, so these are the items we will need. We need this plywood that will form the sides of the conveyor belt. We will need an inner board to support the conveyor. We will need some pipe. This pipe was created from the normal water pipes. The dimension is given on the screen. We will need any form of leather in this format and then we need to sew the ends together. The dimension is provided on screen. We will need a DC motor, a gear type because we need more torque to drive the load on the conveyor belt. Okay, so we will need some ball bearings, they need to be free. We will need nuts, six of them. We will need three boots. We need to 3D print this particular part. Okay, to get it, I 3D designed it using Fusion 360. Right, we can see the design is perfectly done. And then I 3D printed it using my 3D printer. Okay, good. So this is the end product. Okay, the next is the coupling that we need. Also designed using the Fusion 360. And then we can see the design right there. We can see where the shaft of the motor is supposed to plug into. After which I needed to 3D print it using my 3D printer. If you don't have a 3D printer, you can still go ahead and form this using wood. Okay, we need set of screws, we need spaces. Now let's move on and then put things together. We put the ball bearing into the 8mm boot and then secure it. Okay, we do same for the next one we have two of them fixed and then the last one we place the knot on it and secure it as well okay we need to fix the bracket now on the motor we position it correctly unfortunately it's only four of these uh, holes that aligns with the holes but four is firm enough for our application. Okay, so I need to retighten them all together. Okay, it's firm. We can now move on. Now we get the pipe. We can see that the bearing is a bit loose in the pipe. We need to build up using a masking tape. Okay, after that we need to push it in and remember you need to leave the boot a bit out sorry the knot we retighten the other knot and then apply the same paper tape that's the masking tape okay we slot it at the other end of the pipe and this forms our first non-drive drum Okay, good. We now do same for the next, the drive end of the drum. Push it into position. We fix the coupling to the motor shaft. Good. And then we insert it to the other end of the pipe. 
we take the motor off and we can see it's secured okay great we now pick the first end of our board we slot in the nest and then we apply the knots to it to secure them in position we slot the motor back into the coupling we can see it's firm and the other end is loose because it needs to rotate okay we slot it into position and then also secure it with the knot it's advisable to use washer for now I don't have any washer lying around but in future I will apply a washer to it the spacer to the screw we position the first screw and then screw it into position we put the next one screw it into position our conveyor belt is taking shape now okay we need to put in the supporting board Okay, so we first fasten the first screw to hold it in position. We turn it around and then we secure it with the next screw. last but one screw and then align the board correctly so we can screw it into position okay we fix the final screw the motor end we screw them into position correctly okay it's perfectly done we then need to finally screw the motor into position firmly okay great we now flip it to the other end so that we can then take the this side off so we can slot in the belt okay i need to lose the section lose the side as well take it off and then slot the belt into position okay great let's create a bit to see it's free and now we can fix back the side board To align it and then screw it into position correctly okay we fix the first knot on the drive end drum and then finally fix the knot for the non-drive end Okay, great. We 
can see it's in position now the drive end drum needs to be stiff because the motor is a geared motor and it needs to hold it in position okay now we need to tension the conveyor belt a bit and then the slot here allows you to do that tensioning okay great we can see that there's room for more tensioning okay so i'll move it into position and then tighten it a bit to hold it to keep the tension in position do the same for the next point okay great so after getting the tension that you need you need to finally tighten it up using a plier position and then tighten them firmly do same for the other end okay great our conveyor is well done and we can see that we are done with the building we now apply power to it so I connect the first clock clip to one of the terminal and then connect the next one to it this is a 12 volts motor so I apply 12 volts to it when I turn it on I can see it's moving in the reverse I want it to move towards the drive end so I will swap the polarity now send the positive to the top and then negative down mm -hmm. and we can see now it's moving in the direction that I want perfect we can now put some tools on it to see whether it can convey it from that end to the other end great job this is a simple DIY conveyor you put the amounts on it and then other cardboard perfectly working viewers thank you for watching we've been able to create a simple conveyor belt that we'll be using in our up and coming Adreno practical projects. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.